Some people start out working in the family business and they end up staying there, keeping up with skills learned over a lifetime. That's the case with a Lexington man whose spirit of the bluegrass shines brightly. If you drive past Shannon Lamp Service, you might think it's just a place to get a light fixture or pick up some bulbs. But go inside and you'll see things that are one of a kind. We have a reputation of, of being able to make a lamp out of anything. We do a lot of porcelain vases, bourbon bottles, candlesticks, figurines, uh, but we do a lot of unusual items, electric meter lamps, fire extinguishers, roller skates, anything you can think of. David Shannon carries on the business his dad, Coleman Shannon, started in 1956. If you want a trophy or toy turned into a lamp, he can do it. If books turn you on, he can turn them on, as well as bait buckets, blocks, or bowling pins. In 1972, David's dad had an idea. A light bulb went off, and he decided to start making his own lamp shades. My mother thought he had lost his mind. He made a couple of uh, appointments and went and they drove to Chicago, Illinois and brought back a van load of, of fabrics and trim and started making lampshades with absolutely no idea of what they were doing. But they learned and custom shades make up the biggest part of their business. And these are just the round patterns. David has more than 3,000 patterns for shades. He says a big box store may stock just 20 to 30 sizes. I'm very particular to get the the lamp to look correct, the shade has to be correct. David lost his dad in 2016, so this is just a two-person operation now. David and his wife Amy still use the equipment his father bought 50 years ago to shape the shades and add the trim. This little shop gets custom orders from all over the country because they're willing to make just about any type of lamp or shade. Sometimes people have a certain uh, collection. They may collect cows and they may want a lampshade with cow print on it and we can do that. In a world full of mass production, this shop stands out as an example that small businesses can have a bright future by being plugged into the past. I feel like our business is stronger now than it's ever been, but we don't take it for granted. <laughs> What's the most unusual thing David Shannon has ever made into a lamp? He says it's probably a piece of the goalpost from Commonwealth Stadium in 1997. That's the post that came down after UK beat Alabama.